60 minutes overtime. Slava Ukraine! Slava Ukraine! Slava Ukraine! This week on 60 Minutes, we travel to Austria with grieving widows of Ukraine and their children to witness the healing power of mountain climbing. The program called the Mountain Seed Foundation was founded by Nathan Schmidt, a Marine veteran who had done three combat tours in Iraq and found his path to recovery through mountaineering. The team of professional guides and other volunteers included Dan Knossen. Knossen was Schmidt's Naval Academy classmate. As a Navy SEAL in 2009, he lost his legs in Afghanistan. He's a three-time Paralympian, but he'd never climbed since his injury. Tell me about Dan Knossen. Dan is an incredible man, incredible person. When we went to the academy together, Dan uh, went Navy SEALs out of the academy and I went to the Marine Corps. And when that happens, usually there's, you know, you know, you lose track, but I never lost track of Dan. I would always ask through my other contacts how he was doing. And I, uh, in 2009, I, uh, you know, I learned from our class that he had been injured. How was Dan injured? Dan was injured in an explosion in Afghanistan. So within the first 24 to 48 hours, he immediately went out, he, he got hit right away. Um, I think Dan would be the first to tell you that he's glad that he was hit and not one of his team. But that speaks to his character, where he can now look at the positives of things. He can be thankful for what he does have, which is his life. But Dan's a man that I would put no limits on. And I can't wait to climb with him. And I want to be there with him. We were with Dan Knossen when Ukrainian widows and their children learned the ropes. This was the first time Knossen had climbed since he lost his legs in Afghanistan. With a much different center of gravity, he had to test whether his climbing harness would hold him. The ultimate test for Dan Knossen and the Ukrainian group was a steep ascent to the summit of Mount Kitsteinhorn at 10,508 feet. Before they made their ascent, Knossen had words of inspiration. The doctors had to take my legs in order to save my life. І надовго після цього я зрозумів, що мої ноги були ампутовані. Лікарі мусили відрізати мої ноги для того, щоб спасти моє життя. I started thinking, why did this happen to me? But over time I learned about two concepts. One is that when things get really difficult, when you can feel the stress or the difficulty, the anxiety, the grief, the loss, when you feel that increasing, that's the time to sharpen and narrow the focus and focus on what's the most important thing you can be doing right now to actually improve the situation. And the second thing I learned about was this concept of perspective. How you, how you, look, at, how you look at a challenge, how you look at the situation. And all of a sudden I was surrounded by a lot of other people who were in similar situations. In some cases they were in situations missing three limbs or four limbs, or, or a lot younger than me, I was 29 at the time, some of these individuals were 18 or 19. Perspective can allow you to feel happy or grateful for things that maybe you, should, you can feel happy and grateful for. To appreciate what you have, not thinking about what you're missing. To focus on what you can do or train to do, not dwelling on things you no longer can do or that are no longer possible. Thank you all very much. With the help of specially designed prosthetics called sockets, Knossen reached the summit of Mount Kitsteinhorn. You did it, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> you did it, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I had written off mountaineering. I didn't really think it was possible, to be honest. But with the cables, I can pull myself up. It's a lot of arm work, but it makes climbing and mountaineering possible, and I'm, I'm so excited. 
What does it mean to you uh, to be part of this group with these children? Being here, seeing the kids, what they've been through, the profound impact of war, the mothers, it's, uh, it's really touching. and it's, For me, it's, it's really meaningful to be a part of it, a small part of it, but to give them some, some hope that you, know, you can push through challenges and you can find yourself on the other side, a stronger person.